G'day everyone, welcome to Lubrication Explained. In this video, we're going to talk about the difference between FA4 and CK4 engine oils. So in a previous uh, video, we talked about the change to emissions control standards and how with lubricants, we were mainly targeting NOx and particulate matter in the early uh, Class C diesel engine oil specs. So if we moved from CG through to CH, CI, CI4+, and CJ, we were progressively reducing the amount of NOx and particulate matter. We kind of reached um, a point where it was diminishing returns, and so now there's been more of a focus on controlling at CO2 emissions. And that was kind of in 2016 when they came up with PC11, and that stands for Product Category 11. So why is it called Product Category 11? Well, if you lined up all the uh, C-class engine oil specs, starting with A, then CB4, CC4, etc., uh, the 11th letter of the alphabet would be CK4. So the previous generation was obviously CJ4, and in 2017, they were coming up to the new spec. The thing with the PC11 category is that it actually is split into two different engine oil specs. So there is CK4, and there is also FA4. And there's some similarities between them, but there's also some very distinct differences that uh, as maintenance managers and fleet managers, we need to be aware of. So first of all, and this is probably the most important one, the CK4 engine oil spec is backward compatible to CJ4. So if you have any engines that are running on CJ4, um, they will run on a CK4 engine oil. In fact, many of the very common products, um, so think of your mobile Delvac or Shell Rotella, um, Caltex uh, or Chevron Dello, um, a lot of these in the actual manufacturing process, they will have actually changed from a CJ4 to a CK4 spec, and you may not even notice. You're, you're continuing to buy the same product. With FA4, though, it's not always backward compatible, and that's something that we really need to be aware of, particularly if we have a fleet where all the different trucks um, or assets are of different ages, right? We might have some new trucks, but some that are 10 to 20 years old. And that means that CK4 was a direct replacement for the CJ4 category, but FA4 is really only applicable to engines or engine blocks from, you know, 2017 onwards. The reason for this is twofold. Firstly, and this is the main one, CK4 operates on a standard high temperature, high shear viscosity. Uh, so for diesel engine oils, that's pretty much always been three and a half centipoise at 150 degrees. Uh, that's in Celsius. And for FA4, we're actually pulling that down. We're reducing the high temperature, high shear viscosity to between 2.9 and 3.2 centipoise. And we'll explain what that means for you um, later on in this presentation. Finally, CK4 is going to be available in the traditional... Um, 30 and 40 weight uh, grades. So, you know, you will have seen 10W30, uh, maybe even 5W30 synthetics, um, as well as 10W40, and probably the more standard 15W40 engine oil grades. FA4, on the other hand, will only be available in 30 weight. So it could be a 5W30 or a 10W30, or even maybe in the future a 0W30, but it will always be a 30 weight. If we go back to, um, I did this in a previous presentation, what are the improvements in the requirements for CK4 versus CJ4? They're primarily focused around oxidation, shear stability, and aeration. So they were the main uh, test criteria which were tightened uh, with the PC11 spec. And so what we said was, C CK4 was improved oxidation stability, improved shear stability, and improved aeration. But for FA4, what we can also add to this is fuel economy. So they were really targeting fuel economy as a kind of a fourth benefit. How do you get that? 
Well, it's primarily around firstly going to a 30 weight grade, right? So that gives you some fuel economy benefits, but also the lower high temperature, high shear viscosity. So how does high temperature, high shear impact fuel efficiency? Well, the reason it does is because it's a, a viscosity test that simulates the high sliding speeds that you would see in piston liners, piston rings, valve trains, and oil pumps. That is really targeting that sort of 15% of um, energy in fleets that goes into overcoming friction, right? So generally what we find is about 50% uh, is wasted as heat, 15% goes into friction, and roughly 35% actually goes into moving the vehicle. So at high shear rates, VI improvers are contributing very little to viscosity, and the viscosity is dominated by the, the base oil. So the, the quality of the base oil is a very um, large determinant of the high temperature, high shear performance. So the difference between the FA4 and the CK4 spec is about 9 to 17%. And I need to clarify here, this is not a difference in fuel economy. I'm not suggesting it's going to be 9 to 17% change in fuel economy. This is the change in high temperature, high shear viscosity. So then we might ask the question, what is the impact going to be on fuel efficiency? So if you were to take a standard 15W40 and compare it with um, a like-for-like like 10W30, so maybe these are, these are both CK4 engine oils, you can probably expect to see a change in fuel economy of between 1% and 1.5%. That's kind of the, the working number. If we were to then take an FA4 10W30, so uh, one with a low high temperature, high shear viscosity, we would expect an additional 0.5 to 1% uh, fuel efficiency gain. These might seem like relatively small numbers, but when you consider the amount of fuel burn that goes through a lot of these fleets, that can actually add up to a relatively large saving over the course of a year. So it's certainly something to think about. Okay, so crunch time. How do we decide which one to use? Well, one of the first ways to do it would be to find out what's the factory fill for your truck. Very easy. Whatever the, the OEM is, is filling with, that's what you go with. So whether it's CK4 or FA4. The other way to do it is to consult um, either directly with your OEM representative or it should be available in the manual. And the one comment that we'd say is that if it's a pre-2017 model, it's almost certainly going to be CK4. Um, and we need that for the, the reasons of backward compatibility. Um, for engines from 2017 onwards, there is a chance it could be either CK4 or FA4. We also need to consider the needs of a mixed fleet. So if we have a, a whole bunch of um, vehicles that are pre-2017 and a bunch that are post-2017, do we really want to be carrying two engine oils as part of our maintenance program uh, you know do you have the capacity to manage that what's the likelihood of cross contamination um, that's really a decision that only fleet managers can make finally you might also want to consider the additional needs of your fleet so um, as i am uh, taping this in early 2021 most FA4 engine oils are not approved for use in reefers or APUs. So that's an additional consideration depending on uh, the needs of your fleet. I hope this has been really helpful, um, explaining the differences between CK4 and FA4. Um, if you have any questions, please post them in the comment section below. This has been Lubrication Explained.